I'm really very sorry that I can't be with you today, um, but I did think it was important to set out some, what I think are key issues for us as we go forward for the NHS of the, of the future and the role that commissioning plays in all of that. World-class commissioning is an absolutely critical part of what we're doing to revolutionise services for healthcare for this country, for our people and our communities. We have the really important issue of how can we take forward the fantastic success that we've had over the last few years of improving services for our, for our patients to another level. We know that there are big areas of our service that need improvement, so how are we going to make that happen? We need to make sure that we can improve the overall health of our population against a background of the stresses and strains that we're facing through pandemic flu, but also through what we all understand to be the major financial challenges that are going to be with us over the next five years or so at least. Now, world-class commissioning is an important part of that, but it's not the only part of it. We need to be really clear about what our strategy is, High quality care for all gives us some really important issues around that to take forward. We need to make sure that our systems and processes are in place and we need to make sure that our people have got the right mindsets to take the service forward. And commissioning cuts through all three of those things. A really important part of commissioning is the development of strategy. You're all working on your strategies. You need to make sure that they reflect the importance of the regional and national strategies. Systems and processes, the quality assurance system that we have on world-class commissioning needs to be taken forward. We need to make sure that we can focus our attention on the important things. The NHS has faced challenges before, there's no doubt, and we have faced challenges of both the financial nature and the service nature, but never quite, I think, of the scale that we need to do in the future. Well, the difference this time is that we have commissioning. Commissioning is a critical part of all of that. It's the thing that we didn't have in the 1990s or the, or the 1980s when we took the service forward. And it seems to me this is the time, in a sense, for commissioning to show what it can do. Now, we've all in this the room here, put a huge amount of effort and work into making it uh, work for us in the NHS over the last few years. But we need to redouble their, our efforts and we need to make sure that we have mutual learning. One of the key issues for me in all of this is to make sure that commissioners work together in networks, we understand what's happening and we learn the lessons. So there, in my view, this really is the time where commissioning needs to deliver. Both commissioners and commissioning now. We need to make sure we can take forward these great visions and strategies for the future and make them a reality for our patients and our communities.